In this video, we'll show you how to program Hunter EZ-1 decoders. Assigning decoders to their station number is an important step. While it's a simple procedure, there are a few key items you'll want to take note of. First, we'll show you how to program EZ-1 decoders using the Hunter EZ-DM decoder output module. You'll use the same procedure with the Hunter PCDM decoder output module, though we won't show it in this video. Next, you'll see how to program a decoder that will be used to activate a pump or master valve. Finally, you'll learn how to program decoders with the Hunter EZ-DT diagnostic tool. Programming EZ-1 Decoders Each EZ-1 decoder must be programmed with a station number or as the pump master valve before use. Remove the insulation on the red and blue wires on the decoder. Insert the decoder wires into ports on the EZ-DM decoder output module. It doesn't matter which color goes in which hole. Use the controller face panel or remote control, if so equipped, to start the station number you want to program into the decoder. Turn the dial back to the run position. When the station number shows in the controller display, press the PRG button on the EZ-DM module. You should see the LED illuminated on the decoder. This indicates that the decoder is programmed with that station's number. Write that station number on the decoder label with a permanent marker. It's now ready to install in the two-wire path at a valve location. Programming an EZ-1 decoder as a pump master valve. To program the pump master valve output for the EZ-1 decoder, follow these steps. With no stations running, connect the decoder to the port and press the PRG button on the EZ-DM module. When the decoder LED illuminates, it means the decoder is programmed as the pump master valve output. Write a designation on this decoder so you'll know it's been set up for a pump or master valve. It's important to remember when using a decoder for a pump or master valve that you need to install a jumper wire between the PMV terminal on the controller and the decoder module. Programming Easy one Decoders with the EZ-DT Diagnostic Tool To program an individual EZ-1 decoder, you must connect the red and blue wires from the decoder to the EZ-DT Diagnostic Tool. You can only program one decoder at a time. With the EZ-1 decoder disconnected from the two-wire path, insert the red and blue wires from the decoder to the EZ-DT programming ports located under the top cover. From the home screen, select Program, then choose Station or PMV. With Station selected, choose the desired station number. Or if you need to program a pump master valve, select PMV output. Successful programming of the EZ-1 decoder is confirmed with two beeps along with a green check mark and the green LED will flash on the decoder. Write a designation on this decoder so you'll know it's been set up for the station or as the pump master valve with a permanent marker. Correctly programming EZ-1 decoders is essential to a successful installation. You'll need to be meticulous in your programming documentation so you don't double up a station number or install a decoder on the wrong valve. Keep good records and be sure to provide an as-built drawing showing the valve numbers and locations. To learn more, visit HunterIrrigation.com. 